Welcome to FP3 of the Italian Grand Prix for F1 2017 for the first time in shit who knows how long, but the first time in 2019 I'm recording an F1 video as I see we have rain. Oh great. Raining at fucking Monza. Oh fuck me. <clears throat> yeah. Good thing I've done my practice programs. Yeah, if you see me go off the track, then just forgive me because I have not I have not done this game in fuck who knows how long. Also, my plan is to buy F1 2018 so I can start that career mode ASAP before the new game comes out, F1 2019, because I would like to get that game. <clears throat> of course. So my first F1 video of the new year, yay. What else is new? Which is me finishing up the career mode because I need to, uh, like I said, the plan for the morrow. Ah, fuck, I exceeded track limits. Yeah, pretty soon I should be running, you know, my dry tires, but because we have a little rain in the area, I won't be able to run that. I wonder, I, oh yeah, because I'm actually going to lose those tires, but that's still a good thing, because I might just use that for the next Grand Prix. If it's those tires, I think, I don't know what's the next tires. I don't know what tires we got coming up for uh, the next Grand Prix that, for this career mode, which is the uh, Singapore Grand Prix. <laughs> not good that's not good because then I just lost you know a set of mediums and a set of I think it was softs I don't know I ran a lot slower 39.3 that's because the track is what this is almost like great if qualifying is is uh, wet I might just have a free tire choice probably start with mediums then softs and then Freak, who knows how long. But yeah, like I said, it's been a long time since I've done an F1 video, so please bear with me. That's why I'm just trying to get back into the rhythm. I've been playing too much Project Cars 2. In fact, I just got done doing the 24 Hours of Dubai, which that race concluded this, this weekend. Yeah, my time got beat, but that was because I made a mistake. The cool thing is, I have this track on uh, Project Cars. And also Gran Turismo Sport, which I also need to tell you guys, I need to get back on that game ASAP. I'm actually going to do some races and yada yada yada. Okay. That should give me a chance to run my draw. How much fuel do I have? Oh shit, I have a fuckload. I'm going back to the garage. <clears throat> I just want to get back in the gar garage. Garage, garage, whatever. Okay, so qualifying's dry. Ooh, the race might have rain. Hmm. Can't imagine having a race with rain. So qualifying this drive, so that means I'm going to start the race on whatever on the tires that I qualified. Just sim to this until it says the word D R Y. Yeah, 
Yeah. Don't look like we're going to be dry. That'll probably be wet. Okay, we're halfway through the session. I'm just... Hmm. All right, doesn't look like we're going to be dry for quite Oh, let's go back out there. Don't look like the rain's gonna let let up, so I'm definitely gonna lose my two compounds I was supposed to be using for the session. Which that sucks, but oh freaking well. Oh, and I haven't met the 10 lap requirement. Oh, son of a bitch. <clears throat> well, I got enough fuel, so I can just do that right now. So we're gonna probably pick up on our time as far as when we get to oh I'm fourth. I think I'm gonna go. Somebody must have beaten my lap because I just I just fell to fourth. I start I've recorded uh, some F1 2018 videos all the way back in December of last year so the end of last year I was busy recording F1 2018 but I haven't released those videos out just to keep that in mind because I still need to finish this this playthrough first before I even think about doing F1 2018 Might be picking up more than that. That's because I have a I have a crap load of fuel on board. I need to start burning off. So I'm gonna have that much fuel to probably qualify. I had like 30, 41 gallons of 41 laps of fuel. That's almost a long stint on these tires. Oh, it was Hamilton who beat my life. Now let's go ahead and just run a, just run some laps. Get some laps. Get some. Get some. Get used to this track. Just take it easy. <clears throat> just gonna just run it. Just run some laps, make sure everything's okay. I did it again with that damn track limit shit. It's twice I've done that. Need to be. Need to take it easy. Oh shit. That's where Hamilton crashed in. I think it was in either 2011 or 2012, he crashed there. Which ended the race, which would have been nice to see what would have happened on that last lap. Until I get paid, and then I'll buy a F1 2018. I'm not gonna improve on this lap because I just went back to, I just went to engine mode one for this one. Save my power plant for the race. Yeah, my power plant's at like 200 freaking degrees. Hopefully everybody has had a great day today. Of course, I've been 
It's been a bit chilly here in Oklahoma. Yesterday we were like in the mid 30s. I was just freezing my butt off because I was out. I, I I worked door yesterday and I was freezing my ass off. When I say yesterday, I mean yesterday morning. I was supposed to have been off at six. Instead, I got off at like around like almost 4:30. I like so I missed like only 90 minutes of pit. Only nine minutes of work. The last 90 minutes of work. I should be more specific. Not the first 90 minutes. The first 90 minutes. Well, actually, no, I clocked on early. And I got sent home early, so. And it's not because I did anything wrong. It's just they were cutting payroll. And I knew they were going to send me home one way or another because we were going to be dead. Oh, sorry. Tires. There's where Marcus Erickson crashed last year. In that section right there, I just went past. Teammate status. Understood. for one of the most challenging parts of this Grand Prix. This is a really fast track, let me tell you something. Alright, we might just need to come in. Because that's when... But the problem is going to be how much time am I going to have to go out there and try to go on slicks. I'm gonna just gain a shitload of time if I end up going on slicks right about now. Let's do this. If it. There it is. Uh, let's go. It's already on mix one, dude. And Van Dorn, of course, beat my lap time. Gonna do one lap on softs and then one lap on mediums and see where we go. See if I get a good lap. This might be a good lap. Yeah, the rain is already gone. So I, so personal in sector one, Alonzo just passed me. So I'm back to fifth. Holkenberg just passed me. But that was a personal lap in sector one. P8. Wow, Ferrari is six. I expected them to do a lot better.
And actually, I'm going to just run these tires. Personal best in sector two. I'm going to probably have a challenge, but qualifying, I should be good. Actually, run a couple of laps. Actually, I won't have enough time to do, run my mediums. So my mediums will be probably left untouched. P4, three seconds off the pace. Ooh. Been the. It's, eh, it's okay. I, w I wouldn't say that's a good lap, but that's still a good. That's still okay. So I'll just stay on these tires for the time being. I was hoping to go a lot faster than that, but yeah. But hey, a 35, hey, that 35.9, that's still okay. So personal best for me in sector one. Ooh, and I must have done a good job going through there. That that might put that might be purple in sector two, but I have lost a little bit of time because I got on the curb and touched a little bit of the grass. Don't need to be doing that a lot during the race. Well, Alonzo up the third. That's still good for the McLaren. Okay, that's personal best. So I've had a personal best in sectors one, two. One and two. I don't know if this will be personal best in sector three. If it is, that's still that's still an okay lap. First two laps on dries, that's still okay. I mean, those aren't good laps, but they're not too shabby laps. Ooh, I got a good run. Good, got off the parabolica a lot better. Okay, so I improved my time by eight tenths of eight tenths of a second but that did not improve however my spot on the racetrack or on the sh on the speed charts I wonder who's I wonder who if it ends up being Stoffel Van Dorn the quickest in practice I'm about to say bruh god damn he he laid a blistering lap time let's see what this one of course, personal best in sector one. Yeah, I'm getting personal best like like it's nothing. But I got through that chicane a lot better than I did the first time I ran on dries. Ah, fuck! God damn it! No, I crashed. Gosh dang it! Happened was I went in this corner. See, I was trying to push it, got in the gravel, and when I tried to catch it, it hooked me back, and I couldn't save it. Gosh. That freaking sucked. I only completed eight laps, unfortunately. That's going to hurt us, because I might be out of qualifying. That sucks. I end up 10th. Ooh. That's it for practice then. We'll see you again soon. And then these guys finished on inners. Oh man, that sucked. Question is, is my car going to be repaired before qualifying? We're about to find out. We'll see you for qualifying. Start here at the Autodromo di Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. The teams are about to head out onto the track any minute now. So then, Ant, it's another Grand Prix weekend, another exciting qualifying session ahead of us. What are you going to be looking out for over the next few minutes? The first question is going to be who can avoid making mistakes. There isn't much margin for error in qualifying, and you have to bear in mind that the track conditions may have changed since practice, particularly as we've had a few support races in the meantime. If the brake bias settings, for example, don't take this into account, it's extremely easy to lock up a front wheel and cause a flat spot. Just like that, your lap's ruined, and you've wasted a set of tyres to boot. Welcome to the um, qualifying for the F for F1 2017 Italian GP. It looks like they got my car fixed. I was nervous that my car wasn't going to be fixed in time for the session. All right, 
Let's just make sure I don't do what I did in free at the end of free practice three. Because if that happened in real life, I would have not qualified. It would have only been 19 drivers and not 20. Oh yeah, and I'm on max. Almost 334 kilometers an hour. So yeah, how is everybody doing today? Of course. Just, just glad to get some stuff done. Yeah, and this is like my first video of 2019, or my, these are my first F1 videos of the new year. Even though we're in the past of 2017, F1 2017. There's where I crashed in free practice three, that section I just went by. Alright, let's see, we're gonna, see what this first lap's gonna be. Van Dorn, 31.576. I went faster th in sector two. I was I was running personal best times in sector one and two, three. Well, Taz, twenty nine one. He is on softs. I'm on the super softs. Ah, fuck! I r ran a little bit wide through the parabolica. 27-1, how about that? That was a good lap. Twenty-seven one, that's a pretty good lap. Let's see Let's see what this second lap is, and then I'm gonna switch over to the mediums. See if I can improve or or if my time, or if I can't improve, then we're gonna knock out the five slowest. They will start 16th through 20th, barring if there's any penalties. Shit! I did the exact same. Th oh no! 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 I did it again. Son of a fucking bitch! And in the same part of the track. I should have just came in the pit and said. Screw this shit. Damn it, I did it again in the same spot. <sighs> well, this is not good because this is going to put me out of qualifying for Q2. Fuck. That is not good. I'm going to make it to the next round, but unfortunately, second time, I'm going to be out of qualifying. But this time, it's not my fault. Fucking hell. Damn. Same place I had problems in qualifying. Or, not qualifying. Probably I was pushing a little too hard and I shouldn't be doing that. I barely made it into Q2. So I barely made it into Q2, but I knocked my teammate out. Now can they fix my car? Because, oh, nope, that's it.